Hi, everyone. I'm Rusty Dunn here at the Caterpillar Visitor Center. Glad to be alongside my friend and colleague, corporate archivist, Lee Fosberg. Lee, how are you? Thanks, Rusty. We are standing at the start of a fascinating new exhibit here at the Cat Visitor Center on the Panama Canal called, I believe, you're the historian, but the world's greatest shortcut connecting the Atlantic to the Pacific, the Panama Canal, running about 51 miles. That's the extent of my knowledge. Lee, to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rusty. Well, you know, the Panama Canal was really an engineering marvel for its time. So if you think of it, you know, the Suez Canal, which was built before it, and it was built by the British, it was dug by hand. Well, this canal was the first canal built with modern technology, which was really the steam shovel, which we'll kind of tell people today is the equivalent of like our large hydraulic excavators, our electric rope shovels, you know, big equipment such as that. And that came from Bosiris and later came from the Cap brand. And, the, and that's the real story mm -hmm. here and what you're gonna see in this exhibit. Uh, Caterpillar's role, Bucyrus's role, but of course it wasn't Caterpillar equipment to start, it was Bucyrus. That's right, that's right. And the type of equipment, and we're, I know you're going to touch on this, uh -huh. these are these are not small machines, they these are, are mammoth machines. Of course this exhibit uh, takes a look at some of the, the, the manpower, the machinery, it, it, sort of the purpose behind this, like, what do we hope people take away from this? I think what people are going to say is this technology that's really kind of changed people's lives. It's it's kind of changed the world in many positive ways. So, you know, the main thing with the canal is it cut the route across South America. It cut that time in half. So think about the savings and what that brought to people, you know, the consequences of that. I'm ready to get started, Lee. You ready? Yeah, you betcha. Hey, follow me. Let's go. Well, Lee, we've talked about Bucyrus Caterpillar, but there's another company involved, which I was not aware of, and uh, we're at the uh, display here where I'll let you explain the ledger book, but the Marion Railroad Steam Shovel. Marion right. Railroad, had never heard yeah. of it. Yeah, well, so Marion was a big competitor with Bucyrus. Bucyrus actually originally won the bids to put their equipment on the canal zone, but there was a very important person from Ohio, and his name was William Howard Taft. Now, he became president after Roosevelt, so he pulled some strings, and Marion got a number of shovels that were also on the job. So he, he was responsible for getting Marion in the game on this, That's right. on this project. Absolutely. So what's the ledger we're looking at? Well, so the ledger is all of their railroad steam shovels that they sold, and we have it open to a page that kind of documents one of the shovels that was sold to the Canal Commission, which was the, the American company that purchased these to use them on the zone. And you might ask, why do we have this, right? Well, the reason we have this is we have Marion's archives because Bocyrus purchased Marion in the 90s. So, okay. so we kind of brought it all together and we're giving Marion their just due. No, there. really interesting to look at and just you're thinking about the day they actually signed this off and yes. how significant that yeah, was. So yeah, over a hundred year old. Very neat. Yeah. All right, ready to go to the next stop? Follow me. Okay. Okay, we're at our next stop. Lee, tell us what we're looking at here. We are looking at what I think is historically and really the coolest part of this collection and this display. So what this is, is it represents the 70 plus glass plates that we discovered that document the construction of the canal from 1904 to 1914. And within these glass plates, there are three images of President Teddy Roosevelt. Remember, this was his pet project. He went to the Canal Zone, which made him the first president, sitting president, to leave the United States while in office. And he went there and maybe even you know operated a Bucyrus shovel. And one of the best photos in here is Roosevelt actually getting up into the machine. Yeah, he did. You know, and he did it in style. He was wearing a white suit. So a did he do an eight or nine hour shift as long as he was up there? Any word on that? Maybe. Well, you know, he might have worked for <laughs> free. I don't know. But these <laughs> these plates are interesting to look at. Very fragile, uh, but but a large number of these surviving. Oh, absolutely. I would say it's probably the largest collection of images the, of the canal being built. And think about it, it's right here at CAT. Excellent. Ready to take us to the next stop? Follow me. Sounds good. If you're like me, Lee, I love a good scale model, fascinated by mm -hmm. uh, the machines in, in that small scale form. But 
this is off the charts. This is something completely different and certainly not a toy. What are we looking at well, here? Well, we're looking at a model. I will warn you, it's not for sale in the, the, the cat store. You just answered my center, question. Right? Okay, go ahead. But it the, it was made by Bacyrus, it kind of uh, around the time we're guessing that the, the canal was done, but they would bring this to represent their products at things like what that was called the road show back then, which is really kind of Con Expo today. And it really is just a beautiful piece. It's made out of wood, it's made out of metal. Um, we're real proud to display this here. And it, it, it's very intricate, very detailed. And I assume they had a number of these that they, they, they took out for they these They did, shows. actually. We, we don't have it on display. It's part of our collection, but we actually have a dredge because it, you know we talked about they made dredges that worked on things like the canal. They're just beautiful pieces of art. Lee, a real pleasure to, uh, from here on out, I want you to go with me on any display and museum that I attend, so you can kind of be with me on this. No problem. What's going Thanks for on. having me, Rusty. Panama Canal exhibit is open through the end of the summer here at the Caterpillar Visitor Center. If you want to learn more, just go online and uh, explore a little bit uh, with everything they have to offer here at the CVC. For Lee Fosberg, I'm Rusty Dunn. Be safe. We'll see you next time.